I found a line. We'll go up the trail a little farther and cut into the jungle. Yes, Buona Lee. On can go balala. There's a big animal in there, maybe the lion. Set up the camera here, quick. must never leave his buona, you know that. Me no, Chief Donka. But me not run from lion or elephant. But this, uh, this is not animal, like something we never see. Maybe spirit devil. Tembo, it wasn't a spirit. Maybe there's others. Me not want to go in jungle again. If you want them to go with you, Buana Evans, I'll give the order. Well, I hate to force them to, Chief. That monster was a horrible looking thing. And I don't blame them for being afraid with only one rifle to protect them. But I can't give up till I get the pictures I need. If there are any more of these beasts around, I want to find out about them. I think I'll ask Larry Sanders to help me. Good. Buona Sanders, big hunter. He come with us, me go. I'll send for him right away. Can one of your men take a message to town for me? Of course. Thank you. I'll have him take my film in at the same time to be developed. Uh, Naganto! I tell her I'll be out day after tomorrow. Another hunting expedition, Sanders? Hey, you might call it that, Stanley. Only this time I won't be guiding a regular safari. A friend of mine, a girl named Jean Evans, wants me to help her hunt down some weird sort of monster. Sounds interesting. Where is she? Utanga district. Utanga? I didn't think Chief Danker liked to have white hunters in his district. Well, Jean isn't exactly hunting. You see, she's, she's shooting motion pictures of wildlife for the International Foundation. Anyway, she has a pretty good in with the Utanka tribe. Well, she must have if old Danka... Say, is she the one they call the Panther Girl? Yeah, that's right. She earned the name and reputation about a year ago. She's trying to get some Utanka natives together for a picture safari. They wouldn't help. It seems about the time Jean arrived in their village, a Black Panther started raiding it. Well, the natives blamed the raids on Jean's evil spirit. Which proves that a few years in a mission school just can't root out the superstitions of centuries. Yeah, it sure does. Old Chief Danker may speak pretty good English, but when you get right down to it, he still believes in voodoo and black magic and all that sort of thing. Anyway, Gene was in a pretty rough spot. Until one night, a native visitor from the city here decided to go out after dark. It was foolish, but he did it. He was bound and determined to cut some bamboo. <laughs> 